tough act to follow, Chris. It is cold in here. It was so cold this morning, my bank account was frozen. Um, there's some housekeeping to be done here. The management told me there's going to be people drinking lots of beer, so lots of trips to the bathroom. There is two bathrooms in the back, one on the right, one on the left. Depends if you're Republican or Democrat. And thank you. <laughs> and um, two bathrooms in the back. And uh, um, if you're neither, then you're incontinent. I mean, independent. Sorry. <laughs> And please keep six feet apart from any leprechauns not wearing a mask. Just stay safe here. I'm not Irish, uh, but my brother lives in Ireland. And he lived there for 35 years, so it's kind of nice to be related that way. So I don't have a shirt that says, uh, kiss me, I'm Irish. But I have a shirt that says, uh, kiss me, my sister-in-law is Irish. <laughs> And there's definitely a green theme here. Green shirts, green hair, green hats, green pants, green beer, green barf. <laughs> and if you get drunk tonight and you make a new friend and take them home and you forget to use your green condom in one week, green discharge. <laughs> and keeping up with the spirit, uh, our president Joe Biden said today, um, happy St. Patrick's Day and green cards for everybody. You get a green card, you get a green card, you get a green card, you get a green card. Everybody gets a green card. Actually, he didn't say that. He said, you get a green card, and then he went to bed. I tell you, COVID has been uh, tough, but it will pass. Like a kidney stone, but it will pass. The the oldest gay bar in San Francisco closed their doors down because of COVID-19. They went $40,000 behind and four months behind on the rent. The owner in a statement said, we are in the rears. And when they asked him if we we're gonna open again, he said, I don't know, it's really hard to come from behind. And, and I saw a prostitute walking and I asked her, I said, hey, has COVID-19 changed the way you do business? She said, not at all. I'm still doing curbside pickup. <laughs> and now if you travel to China, I know, I swear I'm not making this up, if you read the news, in the airport, the Chinese authority will give you an anal swab for your COVID-19. Never mind the nasal swab, it's an anal swab. Many travelers have lodged complaints with the Chinese authority, so the Chinese authorities said, okay, we'll give you the results and a fortune cookie. <laughs> and I got my first vaccine, thank God. And the doctor said, Basil, come back in 21 days. I'm like, well, what if I come back in 30 days or two weeks? He said, 30 days would be too late. Defeats the purpose. Two weeks would be too early. You would experience a premature inoculation. We don't want that to happen. I used that joke, but it didn't work. So I'm, not go I'm gonna scrape it. And I see uh, couples holding hands, uh, kissing, gazing into each other's eyes everywhere I look. And uh, people are in love. Let me tell you about my divorce. <laughs> Finally, after 24 years of marriage, we called it quits. And we did it with no lawyers and parted as friends. I went to the courthouse and the lady said, you look a little bummed. I said, well, what do you expect? I'm doing a divorce here. She goes, don't feel so bad, Basil. Divorces that happen every day, we see it, it's normal. She said, but lately, we've been getting a lot of the same sex divorce. I said, really, mine is a no sex divorce. I gave her a big check, she bought the house right next door to me. I referred to her as my ex door neighbor. We now share memories, fence line and Wi-Fi. And throughout the marriage, I bought and paid for everything. I even bought her a boob job. I figured I pay, I play, uh-uh. I only saw them three times after the surgery, twice to change the bandages. And, uh, <laughs> and I never cheated on her, I swear to you folks. I had so many chances, but I refused. And I refused because I have principles, I have values, I have ethics, and I have erectile dysfunction. <laughs> And then I find myself alone and lonely. Oh, by the way, I just want to say, we have two rescue dogs in the audience. It's so nice. 
I, the last four dogs I had were rescued. As a matter of fact, my brother, my uncle, my aunt were all rescued too. <laughs> and she got to keep the dog part of the settlement. And that Yorkie was also rescued. It was half Yorkie, half homeless. And I miss that dog. That dog would come up running to me at three o'clock in the morning just to let me know she's here. I'm happy to see you. And when I get out of the shower, she would lick my ankles. It's been three years since the divorce. I swear I would have stayed in the marriage if the dog was a little bit taller. And now I see the light, David. I reject the light. I give it back to you. <laughs> Are we done? Yes, sir. All right. Well, thank you so much, folks. This is my time.